Hey everybody, welcome back to the Weekly Slam Fun Update with your host Boomer. And today we have no real major updates to provide you. This is probably the first time in months. I can tell you I know a lot of add-ons are being developed. I know a lot of add-ons have some uh, new things coming. And I know there were a couple of bug releases this week, but there's nothing really substantial that I can bring you in terms of those. However, instead today, we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to do an advanced tip for you guys today. Something that I see a lot when I talk to players on servers. This is what I would call input overload. Whereas we're trying to get an input node to provide more material to either storage or machines than it's physically capable of. As we all know, Minecraft moves, moves items 64 at a time. Well, if I've got one, and these are all infinity level generators and machines, a cobble gen, a dust extractor, and ingot former. Those are all infinity. I'm moving 64 at a time until I hit the ingot former, which produces 32 when 64 dust go in. But if I'm trying to provide three dust extractors from only one cobble gen, well, what's going to happen is by the time that this cobble gen sends that information up there, it sends it 64 cobble in a slime fun tick, that dust extractor is going to process that cobble. And now this one's, again, looking for a place to send it. It's only going to be able to feed one machine at a time. All right, just to give you an idea of how fast this is actually supposed to run. Okay, this is the default settings of slime fun and all of the add-ons for infinity expansion you can see every half of a second it's supposed to produce a stack of cobble i understand some servers have turned it down for obvious reasons especially when i'm playing on them because i tend to build more than one or two machines but every half a second it's setting cobblestone up to a dust extractor and every half of a second it's producing a stack of dust so what ends up happening is if i have two cobble generators running for two dust extractors, they keep up. If I have two cobble gens running for three dust extractors, they might tend to fall behind. So I run one for each and you have two options. You can either round robin them between the three or you can dedicate them in the specific channels. That way there is never any lag between one machine or another and you eliminate the round robin of the possibility of a machine being missed or skipped along the way. But that doesn't really solve our problem because right now we're still at 64 to 64. But if these two machines were gone and all I had was one cobble gen, well, you can see what's happening. We've got lag between the two because we're not producing enough cobble for all three dust extractors to keep up. Every half of a second, one of these three extractors gets a stack. But until we give it two more dust extractors or two more cobble gens, See, now it can keep up the way it's designed. Same thing happens to be when it goes to the infinity ingot former. Now, right now I'm just sending all the dust into these nine storage units. We've got the same kind of problem that we're going to generate over here. So I want to, let's see, which one do we want to do? This is silver, right? I believe this one's silver. Yep. Nope, zinc. Okay, do we have zinc? Iron, zinc. We've got zinc. Okay, great. We're going to, I want you to see there's over 44,000 zinc. So it's not like we're going to run short. We're going to produce the same thing here. Okay. We're going to show you by sending zinc in. We're getting a little bit of a lag. And you say, well, this 44,000 in the dust storage unit, why can't it keep up? Again. We're asking one machine that can send 64 items at a time to send an evenly distributed items to three machines that can produce 64 at a time. So once your machine production outpaces your input node, you will have gaps like we do right here in getting production running. So how do you fix it? Well, earlier today I had somebody ask me, well, what if I put two nodes? on an extractor. Let's try it. We'll set them both to channel four. So that one's, and this is iron, I believe. Okay, we're on Robin and yep, this is iron. Okay, we have some iron dust. So we're gonna shut this one off just to make sure it's not coming here anymore. Perfect, okay. So now, are we all set? Yeah, these are all on Ron Robin. They're all on blacklist. 
let's make sure we have an input node that can send. So are we ready to go here? Let's see. Yep, it's going. But we're not getting completely even. Let's make sure we are on round robin on this one too. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's come back down. Same thing. Every 64 are coming out every three slime fun ticks. But we have two nodes, right? Both on here. Yep. Yeah. But what's happening? At least in the Infinity Expansion Storage Unit, it's the same thing. You can only move a stack at a time. Now, if you had a double chest, could it potentially pull two stacks? Maybe. But you're still going to have a problem. One, that you're going to run out before you get more, which is going to stop your production. And two, you may not get 200%. So what is the actual solution to this problem? So what I've done on the Royale server, and if you'd like to drop by and see this, I'll be happy to show you, is for each part of this process, I've set up a section or what I'm going to call a, a level of setup. Meaning, I send dust to three places, right? I send dust to smelteries to make alloys. I send dusts to ingot formers to make ingots. And I send dust to ingot formers to make singularities. I'm sending dust to three different places, all of which run at 64 per slime fund tick. Yet I'm only producing maximum 64 slime funds dust per tick. Somebody said, well, take the dust storage out, right? Forget the storage, go right from there, from the dust extractors. Well, I thought that was a chance that we could test and show. And what I found out is the problem is that the dust extractors don't make a perfect level of every single dust every single time and it doesn't cycle evenly in other words you'll have times where if i have three of these i might get iron zinc and copper and i'm trying to make silver ingots so nothing gets sent there's other times that all three might make silver so instead what i've done is i've actually eliminated a lot of this extra steps but i've added in more machines to make sure my throughput is maximized in other words every single machine in my base sends and receives 64 per tick without exception. So I will use, in this case, of three cobble gens and just three dust extractors. Those are set to one set of channels. I loop them on channels one and two, and they send all the dust to my storage units that then send it out to the smelteries. In other words, all of my smelteries combined are using less than 64 dust per slime fund tick it works perfectly. Then I set up a second tier with dust extractors after infinity cobble gens, then a level of dust extractors again, then ingot formers. Those ingots go to storage, which go to my smeltery. They don't back up. They run 64 every single tick. Then finally, for my singularity farm, I do the same thing. There's a, another level of dust extractors, another level of cobble gens, ingot formers, all of which then send just to the singularity constructor. So in my base, I have nine cobble gens, nine dust extractors, goes to smelteries. Again, level two, nine cobble gens, nine dust extractors, nine ingot formers. Those ingots go to those same smelteries. And then the third level is nine cobble gens, nine dust extractors, nine ingot formers to the nine singularity constructors. So every part of my base is set up to send 64 to every machine on every slime fun tick, and they all receive 64 on every slime fun tick. And what I do get out of it is my dust systems tend to fill up a little bit extra. So then what I can do is I can leech off of them. In other words, if I want to get an advance on a singularity constructor, as these are sending dust up to the storage units, what I found out over a long period of time is, even with everything moving 64 at a crack, you don't always get an even distribution. So every so often I have extra. What I can do then is smelt them or sneak them off of a dust extractor by putting another one on that same channel, putting an extra ingot former. And I siphon off some of that extra dust until I start to see these numbers get pretty low. Then I turn it off, let it go back to the main one, and let the extra dust store up. So at times I'm actually stealing more than 64 simply by using that back door. 
Now I know that's a lot to take in. I know it might seem a little bit confusing. And so if I'm on the Royale server, the, the link to the server is in the description, feel free to stop by and I'll be happy to show you exactly how it works. But as always, when you're playing Sun Fun, you gotta go Boomer or you gotta go home. We'll see you later.